Hey everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. So in this video what I wanted to do was show you just a quick and dirty way of being able to do ledge grabs when jumping from one level block traversable to another. And this was something I thought about earlier today while I was at work that I, I tested out because I was like, hmm, after going through my my uh, the traversable function in my previous videos in my Gas From Scratch series, I wanted to try something with, with using the traversable function, you know, like how you see here where we're climbing and then we can like jump across, right? But then say that we're over here, and we climb up to here. And then if you try to get here, you notice how it's a level block, right? But you can't traverse it because we're falling, we've already jumped, we're failing checks, like all this other stuff, so we just fall down, right? So my thought was, is there any way I can make this, like, do a mantle while we're falling, like, and grab onto the traversable level block? And so, I literally spent like probably roughly five minutes on it or whatever just to test my theories and sure enough to my surprise I actually got it working and I wanted to share that with you so I'm going to hop out of here and what I, if you want to follow along and do the same exact thing what you need to do is you need to go into content blueprints and open up your CBP sandbox character. Once you're in there, go down to the jump traversal input, and what we're going to do is we're off of the false right here, we're gonna drop down and grab a branch function. And then what we're gonna do here, and don't worry, I'm gonna explain everything like once I'm done with it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab our character movement component and place it in here. Next, what we're going to do is off of it, we are going to get our velocity. So do get velocity and scroll down until you see the yellow vector variable for velocity. So now here is where you can go one of two ways. Either you can split the structure pin here so you can get the XYZ values. But if you don't like doing that, then what you can do is off of this, you can do a break vector to get this. And honestly, since I've been doing stuff with the gaps, uh, like character blueprint or sandbox character, I'm starting to prefer this more just because it's a little bit cleaner to me. Like that's just my preference now. Um, but you're more than welcome to split the structure pins here or do a break vector. It does not matter. So off of here, what we're going to do is we're going to drag off the Z and we're going to get a less than operator. And what we're gonna do is put in 100. And I'm gonna explain this here in a moment. Once you have that, go ahead and connect the Boolean connection here into the condition. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the try traversal action and the get traversal forward trace distance, copy that and then paste it here. And then off of the true, hook it in there. So before I demonstrate how this works, basically what we're trying to do here is we're getting our character movement in order to get our character velocity from our character movement component. So then off the velocity, what we're trying to do is then break apart the structure pin to get our X, Y, and Z values because we don't want all of these values. Because when you look at our character, like say I click into them, here on the red line, you have your X, so if we were to move in the X direction at like 500 centimeters per second, that is your velocity. Or if we're moving in a Y direction at 500 centimeters per second, that's your Y velocity. And then if you're moving upward at 500 or down at, you know, negative 500, you know, centimeters per second, that is your up and down velocity or your Z velocity, right? So if we go back into the event graph, so what we're trying to do off of here is getting our, is get our up and down velocity because what we want to do is we want to check that we are following. But however, the reason I chose this was because if we, I'm pretty sure you can do an is falling variable. Like if you just went into here and grabbed is falling, I'm pretty certain you can do that. But that's only if you want to do that where it's like while we're in the air, regardless, like if we're jumping, if we're falling, then you can do that. So and I'm going to show you how that works as well, because you can just do this if you want a simple, quick and dirty one. But the reason I'm putting in less than 100 and I'm going to shout out Cobra code for it, just because when I first started learning Unreal Engine 5, you know, I was trying to make uh, 2D projects or whatever. And, you know, a lot of his flipbook character animations for him to show how to transition between a jump flipbook and a falling flipbook. 
he would do something like this where we're trying to get our up and down velocity. So just to kind of bring the point home, if you're not sure what velocity is in mathematical terms, it is basically your speed in a direction. So say for example, that I'm going 50 miles per hour west across the United States, right? Because that's where I'm currently living in the United States. But if you're going 50 miles per hour west across the United States, then that is your velocity because it is your speed and a direction. So if I go 80 miles per hour north, then that is my velocity. I'm going 80 miles per hour northward. So that is what velocity is. So that's also why it's a vector because you could say that I'm going say 500 centimeters per second in the X direction or I'm going 500 centimeters per second in the Y direction or I'm going 500 centimeters per second up and down. It is just your speed in a direction. So in saying that, the reason I'm putting 100 is because like again with the flipbook animations that he did in a video of his, he had put down less than 100 because as you're jumping and falling, so when you jump you generate a positive velocity and when you're falling you generate a negative velocity. So what I was trying to do is like as soon as it goes below 100 to be able to grab onto the ledge and then mantle onto the next traversal level block. However, if you just want to be in the air regardless, then you are more than welcome to use this. I just kind of wanted something a little bit more like bit more specific, but just to show you how this looks, if we go ahead and compile and save and I hit play, let me go ahead and sprint over to the middle level block. So what well, the goal is for this is we're going to aim for that level block. So now that I have it set, when we go to jump, Oh, well, if I can time it right. So if I go back up here, and let's try it again. So now if I jump, see how I basically do like a quick and dirty ledge grab, right? Because for one, so just to go over why that worked is because of this function right here. So if you ever watch my gas from scratch series where I break this down, basically if you are zero or idle, right? So if your velocity is zero, Basically, you output a line distance in front of you like 75 centimeter units ahead of you. So imagine like if you're in the viewport and, you know, right here where the line trace starts, it juts out when you're like when you're not moving like about to here, right? Because that's probably roughly 75 units maybe. However, if you are moving, then what it does is it shoots over like a line trace like over to here because when you're moving it then outputs a value of 350 units ahead of you to check the see if there is a traversable level block so while we're in the air even though we are checking for our z velocity we are moving forward so it is going to give us a forward trace distance so that's why you can see that when we did make the jump from here to here even though like i was right about here the line trace is going to hit it anyway because of how it's getting our forward trace distance so when we're moving and we're checking for 350 units ahead of us to see if there's a level block so that's why it was able to work if you want to adjust where your person mantles if we go back into the sandbox character and you go into the get traversal level block all you have to do is change these outrange A and outrange B values. So say that if you're not moving, it, you don't want the person to climb or vault or mantle, whatever. So you could set this to zero if you don't want people just jumping straight up, you know, but however, what we want to do is we want to still be able to mantle over stuff. So that's why it's at 75, even if your velocity is zero. So like I hear is the 350 that I mentioned. So if we're moving, then we're getting 350 units ahead of us. So if you don't want that, you're more than welcome to set it to something like 100 or 200 or maybe 150, just so that way you have to be like right up against the traversable level block in order to climb it. But then if you do it here, then it affects like everywhere that you traverse. So definitely be careful of that. So going back to it though, if we go ahead and let's say I undo this, right? Let's go ahead and undo that and just add the is falling to it. Cause again, this situation also works or this scenario will also work. So if I compile and save that and then go, 
like let's say for example I just try to do this so as you can see like I pretty much just vaulted that from a distance right so that's why I was saying that because right here you're just in the air and it just so then you just walk on air to then climb up so like regardless like it can work you know however you want it to it's just like it's a, just a quick and dirty way of doing this so I just thought I would share that so that way in case y'all are trying to play test level designs and stuff like that and you're using the traversable level blocks that is a quick and dirty way of being able to just do ledge climbs like that from a distance that way you could see if you know whatever level you're building like whatever gaps you have are reasonable and whatnot with your setup right so that's pretty much again what I wanted to go over and show y'all as I had that thought today and was like oh let me share it so other than that guys thank you for watching this video if you did like that please check out my other videos and my future videos to come like always so other than that guys y'all have a great day and take care